G'day Cheeky Dogs, today we're going to be breaking down the Bluey Season 1 episode, Pirates. Okay, let's play Pirates! Alright, Pirates! We're going to be talking about all the traditional Easter eggs, the locations, the movie references, all those little details, and also what's going on with Bandit in this episode and why so many people felt that like, he was so out of character in this episode. Hee hee. But if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like button down below if you love Bluey as much as we do here, as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other new videos. G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. So let's start off with the long dog in this episode. We didn't see one unfortunately in the last episode, Beach, but there is one here. It is hiding underneath Chili in the jungle gym and it is blue with little black ears as well. We also have two locations for this. So the very first like opening scene we've seen before in the episode Bye. <laughs> But this is Woolcock Park, which happens to be almost a two hour walk away from where they are in the next park, which of course in the show they just jump straight to. But the next park is Watonga Park. And again, this was confirmed on Bluey Locations on Instagram by some of the people from Ludo Studios as well. And you can even see here the swing in the jungle gym that they were on. We also have some cool like movie references in this as well. <laughs> Suddenly, the huge whale swallowed their boat whole! The first one being Pinocchio, with of course the whale swallowing the boat and them living inside the belly. And down the throat they slid! Right into the whale's belly! But the other one that maybe you might have missed is the Goonies reference, and you can see just that one shot of like them all hanging off the swing and holding onto each other looks a lot like the movie poster as well from Goonies. What's well, up, Bingo? I don't have any spare arms! <laughs> Now, before we talk about the characters and the like boxer possible dad in the background and Missy and everything like that, I do want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. If the idea of hiring a lawyer seems daunting, it shouldn't be. Because if you are ever injured and you don't know where to start with Morgan & Morgan, it is so easy. They're a 21st century law firm that has modernized the injury law process. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan without ever having to leave the couch. A lawyer will review your case and you can go over case details, contracts, and upload documents all from your phone. And you can even just text your legal team rather than go to meetings in person. So if you are ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Again, you can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. For more info, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Okay, back to the episode Pirates. This episode of Blue is called Pirates. So let's talk about Missy. We did see her before in the episode Bob Bilby, but of course we do learn a little bit more about her in this episode and how she is learning to be brave. She'll be brave, won't you, Missy? <laughs> I'll try, Mr. Healer. We'll take care of you, Missy. But something I love about this, though, is the fact that we get a callback to this all the way in season three in Pass the Parcel with her birthday card, which, of course, has pirate treasure on the bottom. So a nice little nod to this specific episode, Pirates, and her learning to be brave. She slid right down his throat and into its belly to join the others! Yeah! What bravery! Also behind Bandit, we do, of course, have the dad and his son or daughter coming into frame. And there's a lot of debate online about what type of dog this is. The first one a lot of people thought was pit bulls. A lot of people say no, though, because pit bulls are basically banned in Australia, especially like the American pit bull. However, some people then thought it was a bulldog. Even the Bluey Wiki site had that for a while before they changed it to boxer, which again, it could be. Or it is possible that he is a Brindle Staffordshire Bull Terrier, which is one of the most like popular breeds in Australia, most commonly known as Staffies. There's just like a whole debate about him. <laughs> <coughs> but something I really like about the character is that, yeah, at first he kind of looks at Bandit like, what's going on? But I love that at the end he smiles at Bandit and like how he's interacting with the girls when he gets into it. So I love just that little bit about that character, who of course pops up randomly all throughout other episodes like Dance Mode. So let's talk then about Bandit and why a lot of people online seem to have like an issue with how he was depicted in this episode. He he. Really? And I think it's really important that we remember that this is only like the first half of season one. And I feel like just like we see Bluey evolve with her personality over time, we also see Bandit evolving more and more with his personality over time as well. What bravery! And what an inspiration to those of us out there trying to face our fears! Because the main issue here is people seem to not understand why he was embarrassed. 
because we see him in so many other episodes being silly and playing games. But I think most of those times that we see him acting like that is usually in front of his friends or his neighbors, like Wendy and Pat. It's very rare that we see him actually acting that silly in public. Like even just a few episodes ago in Wagon Ride, he wasn't overly enthusiastic while he was playing bus with the girls at the bus stop. He was just sort of being normal, average, I guess. Whereas in this episode, when he's doing the same thing, he's kind of criticized for it. <laughs> but I think it's again, just Bandit learning to like overcome that embarrassment. And I think that's one of the morals of this episode as well, is that adults have to learn how to be brave too sometimes in different situations. We're not all just naturally brave because we get older. Sometimes we have to overcome issues as well. Mom, why isn't that making the whale noise? Hmm, could it be? This majestic blue whale is embarrassed to be making funny noises in front of another daddy whale? Well, that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. I think for Bandit, this one, it could be anything from just in general being a bit embarrassed. It could be an idea of like the masculine father stereotype and him overcoming that and being seen as more funny and silly with his kids. And the big blue whale swam off to find his blue whale wife who loved him that little bit more now. But it is important to notice that even in the episode Cafe, he was very hesitant getting into it and playing it with Fido. Oh. <clears throat> Hey mate, bandit, Fido. And even in Hammerbun, when the girl's acting silly at the counter, like he leaves straight away. He's taking my husband! Uh, I might meet you in the car. So it is normal for him to be more hesitant when he's out in these like public spaces around people he doesn't know. But of course in the episode like Dance Mode and even in Fairies, we see him, you know, going that extra step because he has guaranteed to these girls that he is going to play this game because he's hurt someone's feelings. In both cases, actually, it was Bingo's feelings that he hurt. Hey, Frozen Bingo. If I've ever hurt your feelings, I'm really sorry, mate. Must feel really bad when your dad does that. Just know that I love you, kid, and I'd do anything for you. Right. Let's do this! So it does seem that, like, he knows, like, when he absolutely has to do it when he's hurt someone's feelings and he can overcome that like Dance Mode and Fairies. But in this episode, of course, it's not his daughters that kind of help him get over this, it's Missy. Come on, Mr. Blue Whale. This is as hard as I can tickle. And it's because the whole episode, he's been trying to make Missy be brave, whereas Chili has been more like, oh, let's just wait. And like, just when she's ready, she can join in. But Bandit's been almost like a little bit more pushy. Which is fine. But this was a chance for the little pirate to be super brave. She'll be super brave when she's ready. So I feel like that kind of contributes to when Missy's telling him she tickles him as hard as she can, that he sort of has to overcome it. Overall though, this episode for me, it's probably like a three out of five. I love like the pirate theme music in it. I think that's really cool. And of course the camera angles are amazing and just makes the game feel so intense and like you are actually on a ship. Chili storytelling is fantastic and very enthusiastic. It's all just really well done. But again, it's just one of those episodes where I'm like, I love it and I think it's really cute, but it's not like one of my top 10, 20 kind of episodes. I do love though that the idea that it does show that parents can also be embarrassed sometimes and also aren't always brave, but that they can get there too. So for me, it's it's a three out of five long dogs. A good episode, but not one of my favorites. Cheeky dogs though, let me know in that comment section down below. How many long dogs would you give this episode out of five? And what was your favorite moment in it as well? And also, how do you feel about Bandit in this episode? While you're down there as well, don't forget to hit that like button if you love Bluey as much as we do, as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. Until then, I have picked your cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch. And I also have a TikTok and Instagram. Both of them are at Aussie girl Margie. I will be going to Japan soon, so if you want to see any of the stuff and Bob Bilby in Japan, make sure you go and check out those as well. But until then, I will see you all in another video. Mwah. Bye!